Scotty Pippen is back at it again, man. He is back hating on Michael Jordan. And at this point, Scotty Pippen is funny to me, and it's actually sad that the man has become funny to me because he's one of the 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 legend of our game, right? So so we should still hold him in high remarks, respect him, and every time that he would actually bless us <laughs> with some basketball insights. Uh, you know, coming from a six-time champs and everything, we should be able to learn something. But Scottie Pippen, ever since that, I don't know if it's the documentary, I don't know if it's um, that book rollout. People people would say, yeah, he was having a book. People, There were some rumors about him being broke or whatever. I don't know. But ever since, I want to say five years, he's been hating on Michael Jordan every chance. Every time you get a mic in his face, he has he has a slight to Michael Jordan. And here is the latest. So he had an interview. I don't know on which platform, but uh, he started talking about LeBron James, which is fine, right? It was like, yeah, LeBron James will go down as the greatest statistical uh, basketball player to ever touch the bat- the ball, and uh, which is fine, you know. And uh, I actually, I'm actually one of those guys that believes that Scotty actually really holds LeBron James in, in high remarks just because they are similar kind of players. You know, um, at least in his prime, LeBron was a two-way player, just like uh, Scotty Pippen, uh, scorer, a passer, rebounder, does it all on the court, right? So I really, I really think that uh, Scotty respects LeBron, you know, so I'm not doubting that. And the uh, the stats part about LeBron James is pretty much undeniable at this point. It's LeBron all wilt. And uh, and then he followed by saying that before uh, Michael Jordan, uh, before he joined Michael Jordan at uh, in Chicago, Michael Jordan was a horrible player, a horrible player. That he was just a, a shot chucker. Uh, he wasn't really playing defense. And that uh, all he cared about was scoring titles and not NBA championships. And, and you know, like, if you're going to hate and want to be taken seriously, you have to put some a little, a little bit of uh, nuances on, 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 on the way you speak. Man, you can't call Michael Jordan a horrible player. I don't care whether Michael Jordan is the GOAT or not in your eyes. He's just not a horrible player. He was taking a lot of shots before he got here. And uh, you can argue this wasn't winning basketball, but he was not no horrible basketball player. He was still a high IQ basketball player, and just as a uh, from a skill pit, a skill set perspective, you could and should never say that about Michael Jordan, man. And for you to actually play six years with him, and still more than six years, win ch- six championships with him, and still talk this way about the man is just kind of weird and sad, man. And it also implies that. He changed the way he approached basketball because of you, which I highly doubt. Uh, it was more of a coaching thing than you, per se. Like Mike, Michael Jordan, he, he, he always had the same approach. Like he, he was a score first type guy. That was his job, and he was he would lock up the uh, the guy on the other end, right? But um, with Phil Jackson, the rival, he just learned how to trust his teammates a little more. And then he started passing the ball more and everything. And let's keep it honest, it was also about the personnel around him. Like, uh, the, them first teams he had when uh, he was very blatant. When we, I, I remember that from the documentary when the, the players would just be in there pretty much not caring about the Bulls, not caring about winning. They would be in there partying, uh, losing, and being cool with that. Even the front office, I remember that year Michael Jordan got injured. They wanted to shut him down. Like, it really wasn't a winning culture. So if I'm such an alpha on the court and way better than the others like Michael Jordan, fuck passing. I'm not trusting my teammates if they don't deserve it. And that's not just Michael Jordan. It's a lot of players, a lot of scorers that I've heard um, with such, a, with such a, a mindset, you know. And that's not shocking. I really respect it. If I'm out here working on my craft, I don't know. I, I end the game and then I'm still in there putting up shots. And I know you're home smoking, drinking, trying to trying to highlight girls and everything. When my season is on the line, I'm not trusting the basketball in your hands. I'm just not. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to touch on that. Um, I'm not even... I mean, I respect Michael Jordan, but I, I didn't I didn't get the chance to, to watch him play. So, I'm not a fan or nothing. But it's just that, you know, as a student of the game, going back, uh, watching a lot of games, the tape and everything, 
it's just ridiculous, man, to hate on Michael Jordan. Like, you don't have to have him at your, as your goat if he's not, but hating on him and trying to downplay his legacy is just ridiculous. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, man. So, anyways, get in the comment section and tell me, do you agree with Scotty? Or was Scotty inbounds or out of bounds for those declarations about Michael Jordan? And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.